Well, there goes the neighborhood. Welcome, everybody, on this uh, Saturday morning. Sorry we're having some technical difficulties, but we want to get everything right here uh, because we've got a very, very special guest on Dave's Gone By coming um, just in an hour from now. Yes, Carol Channing is going to be with us, well, by phone, on this Saturday morning in October. Right now, we do have with us um, the general manager of... UNC Radio, which is the station that we are on. Hello. Hello. Let's see if your, your mic is working. Yep. Okay, so we're Looks like it. talking to Sam Wood. Hello. Yep, it's working. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pop you up. And that will also be the mic we'll use for Carol. Yeah, we're very, very kind of a lo-fi, uh, you know, homemade sort of uh, beginning to the show today. Sorry about that. But again, uh, you know, got to make sure the board is working, our recorders are working, and they seem to be. So welcome to... The neighborhood. Sam, general manager of UNC Radio, how are you? Doing good. Doing good. I'm getting ready for the big drive to Aurora. The big. Why are you driving to Aurora? To get my hair cut. Why are you going all the way to Aurora? Because it's cheaper to have my mom do it. Oh, I know. okay. And I, uh, I have to get my headlight fixed too, so I can not be pulled over anymore. That would be. How long yeah. have you had a broken headlight? That since I got this truck. So. Oh my god. A couple months. Do they always keep? Do they just give you warning? Oh yeah. Oh okay. I've okay. never gotten an actual ticket. I'm gonna be pissed when they give me an actual ticket though. Well, you gotta fix that then. Are they gonna yeah. actually fix it today? Are they gonna fix I it hope so. Headlight. If not, oh well. Well, Sam has been doing yeoman's work. Uh, well, ever since becoming general manager of the station, which which was almost completely decimated, destroyed. I mean, there almost was no radio station at the University of Northern Colorado. For a couple of years, and then Sam said, "No, no, no, you know, we can't have that. This is a major university in a, a pretty major town on the Middle West Coast. We gotta have a station. We have, a, have to have a place where students and faculty can get out there, play the music they want to play, say the things they want to say." And we built it very, very slowly back, and actually been making leaps and gra- uh, leaps and bounds progression-wise. One of the things that have happened, like over the past twelve to eighteen months. At the station. Uh, well, let's see. Over the last year, we have a new webcast, as you can see now, and a new broadcasting system, um, rotation system, I guess. Before it wasn't as high tech as it is now. Uh uh-huh. um, People know us now. That's a huge leap. Yeah. Before there was only eight people when I took over, and the only people at the school that knew about us was the eight people. <laughs> so. Now I've got I get daily emails about other clubs and organizations on campus wanting us to be at their events. Wonderful. So, yeah, we're, we're, I, think I think last year you did twenty events all year. And probably we've done more than that. We've done at least probably roughly about twenty twenty five ish. So far, in the I mean, first it's, it's couple mid-October. months. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, that's that's why you you know the, the the funny thing is you don't have I don't think a goal to become. A radio broadcaster, or or anything like that. So, what is the the pull? What made you have this incredible uh, urge and, and yearning for this radio station? Um. Well, it could be because. Uh, well, the guy that asked me to be the general manager told me this. He was like, "If you don't become the GM, then the station is no longer going to happen." As you mentioned before. Yeah. Uh. So. I mean, that kind of got me, and I guess I'm very competitive with myself. Okay. So I want to have the best thing ever. <laughs> so that could be why I'm still doing this, and I don't really want to give it up. I do want to give it up, but because it really? takes my okay. life. Yeah. Well, you're an electrician or an, uh, an apprentice mm-hmm. electrician. So will it take your I mean, you can stay here at least another year. I know that. Yeah, I'll probably be here one more year. Or if I decided to take on two more majors, I'll be here for a little bit longer. <laughs> I don't mind. I like college, so it's fun. Yeah, and you're what, 22 or... Yeah, 22 November. So you got... You can stay until you're like 28 and a half. Oh, yeah. Then you're going to get married, you know, have a kid when you're 34-ish. Yeah. Do it right, but it's Then finally early. graduate college. Okay. <laughs> well, you have a master's degree, too. You, you can I thought about it. for a master's. I thought about it. In I also, uh... Oh, you have a phone oh, call. Oh, I have, I have a call from... Maybe, maybe we'll put it on the air. Hold on. We're going to move the other mic. One moment. Whoever is calling, I think I know who it is. UNC Radio, you are all on the air. Uh, it's me, 
David. Yes. <laughs> you, you, you don't sound like a David. I want to thank Sam. I heard of him on the radio. Oh, you mean right now? Of course. Yeah, okay. okay thank, thank you. Why do you want to thank Sam? We all do, but why do you want to thank Sam? <laughs> I should say that um, who I am. I teach here, right? I'm Joyce. I'm the wife of David. But I ran into a real jam, literally, with some microphone equipment and some huge problems when we were showing a film, my living with the, the living with dying film. And I heard Sam on the radio, and I just wanted to thank him publicly um, because he was a huge help. He ran in at like the zero hour and helped disconnect, connect, and actually you know, make some, some microphone stuff work. So I just wanted to thank you, Sam, publicly. Yeah, no <laughs> for problem. Your help. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> and write that letter, babe. You're going to write you up a letter. Yeah. I am very glad that you're competitive with yourself because you were very helpful and, and I was, you know, extremely anxious that we wouldn't have any sound at all, which was really scary because I like people to hear when a panel comes to speak. Oh, yeah. So, Sam, thank you. I just wanted to say... I thank you so much. I'm glad we have a student radio and then we have people we can call to help with a minute. <laughs> so thank you, Sam. That's yeah. why I called in. Seriously, Sam. Um, I thank Sam. And, yeah, he's you know, perfect. Let me tell you what happened this morning. You know, I get here uh-huh. and I'm trying to step, step up and I'm getting my, uh, my MySpace account up so people, when I start playing music, you can yeah. see the playlist. And I've got a Twitter account up and I've got my, my notes and my CDs. Oh, no. And then, oh, I have to, I want to record the show because, you know, we have Carol Channing in about 45 minutes. Well, of course, I go into the uh, recording studio and everything's unplugged. The boards uh-huh. unplugged, the things I have, the desk, I'm plugging them. What is, where does this go? I've never, oh, my you know. God. And then I'm like, ah, after 10 minutes of this and, and you know, smashing a few things. Yeah. I get on the horn and who I call, but Sam. And leave a message, and bam, Sam calls me back, says, look, I can be there about half an hour. Wow. Uh, Dan and running, and here he is. Sam, I think you should be like an ER or on life flight or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a very good emergency responder, Sam. Yeah, <laughs> I try. <laughs> no, you you were really helpful. I'm, I mean, for my part and also for David. So I'm not going to compliment you anymore, but I just really wanted to say thank you. Because uh, you are terrific. So I'm going to go, but thank you, and have a great show, both of you. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. That's my wife, Joyce. At, is there anything you want to publicize that you're... Oh, you're going to be on the radio again, I think, right? Yeah, but that's nothing. You do your show and talk about Kyle Channing and Sam. I'm going to see you later. Okay. And Love thank you. you, Sam, so much. I appreciate your help, seriously. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can do something in the future, maybe with the radio or something. But thank you so much, Sam. I appreciate the, the station support. Yeah, definitely. No problem. Thanks. Take care. Thanks Bye. for calling it. Bye bye. That was Joyce, my, my wonderful and very grateful wife. And I'm, I'm Dave Lefkowitz. I don't think I even introduced myself. Hi, I'm Dave Lefkowitz. Um, this is the program Dave's Gone By, which you can find out more about at davesgoneby.com. In the studio at the moment, I happen to have the general manager of UNC Radio, Sam Wood. And so you started three years ago on this? Uh, uh, let's see, yes. yes. I started three years and I was. I had my sports show with my best friend, and then we started doing hockey, too. Oh, just, you mean you know, announcing the games? Announcing the games. That was just, you know, just for fun to try it, and I think that's what kind of saved the station, because when we uh, had our show, there was like eight people here, and uh, we didn't really have a webcast up, so we were only going in the residence halls. Oh, wow. And then Logan and I, we found mostly, I think it was Logan that found a website where we could stream online. Fabulous, yeah. So that's kind of what brought the... Brought us back, because we're not yet on the air, although you are actually looking into trying to get a low-power signal so that people in the parking lot yeah. at the school, can, you can't, if you go past the parking lot, you still won't be able to hear it, but... I, I think I researched, I mean, the only problem is the FCC, they're not very clear when they send you stuff. No. So, really? the yeah, yeah. unclear in its instructions, are they? Yep. So, I read another thing the other day where if we get a low power transmitter, it can reach up to five miles. That's pretty good. Yeah. Five miles, that's the campus area. That's mm-hmm. that's already into almost Evans and Windsor. Mm-hmm. Well, well, but, but yeah. Woof. Yep. So, it's, it's about half a greedy. Really. Think about it. Right. right. The good half. So, yeah. The gang half the, doesn't need to hear The half that counts. That's right. <laughs> Um, That's terrible. Yeah. So, so I looked into that, that, but I don't know. I just got to call somebody over there because they send you emails. You ask them a question through the website, and then they send you an email back. Uh, of, here, 
Here's the link for our website that I'll explain. Ugh, uh, I hate that. Yeah. There's no phone number. There's no, like, hi. I, you know, I want to talk to just an actual person, so I haven't tried it yet, but... Yeah, it's something to look into. Right now, I read that um, we can't get an AM or an FM license because they're not currently accepting any applications. Oh, you mean for a major license? Or? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, well. Which? When, when are they accepting? 20, you know, 46? They, they haven't accepted an uh, application since 07. Right, yeah. So, that was kind of a bummer. No room on the dial, yeah. Right. But for low power, they still could. I think, maybe, I don't know, that's who I have to call because I didn't see anything about it. Ooch. Okay. So. We'll just have to ask K. Norton to, like, buy a station for us. That's all. Yeah, you know, <laughs> buy out some little station. That's fine. Yeah. How old is the guy Pirate Radio? Yeah. He's, yeah. he's <laughs> got to be gone soon. You know, he probably had a heart attack on Obama one, so. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll like support it. But I'm sorry. He may be listening right now, as if. Anywho. So, um, and I also, the one other reason we want to thank Sam is that on a very, very active week at the radio station about a week or so ago with Homecoming. And how do we do on Cans for Candelaria? Uh, we got 21st. Which, yeah, that's a big number, but there's probably about 50 to 60. Oh, 21st out of organizations. Are they just in of, school? Out of everything. Or everything meaning? Yeah, it's every club, organization, department on campus that... So. Was there a dollar figure, you know, as far as how much the cans were worth and the money? Yeah, was we uh, we raised about 136 pounds in you know, actual food, yeah. and then the rest was all money, which I think our total was 701. Woof! That's pounds. not bad. Not bad at all. That's very cool. Yeah. So, God, we can contribute to the Wolf County Food Bank. Yeah. Well, yeah, he got my five dollars, and I don't give to anything. I'm a cheap son of a bitch, but. He got five bucks out of me. So, so, you know. Yeah, and can people know, still donate yeah. or, or uh, wait till Thanksgiving? Um, you know, I think you can still donate. I want to eventually probably do something of our own here at radio and try to do some kind of food drive. Like that Harry Chapin thing that I used to do way yeah. back in Long Island and, and start this whole food thing. I always yeah. hated that. But <laughs> I mean, I believe in people eating, but just taking up all this radio time with like, give, give, give. Right. Like, ah. Right. See, that's actually going on another topic. That's how CU gets their money, as they do pledge drives. Because they don't get student fee funds. Right. So, as I, long as we can. I don't want to do that. Because, I mean, like you said, I don't want to. If I have a radio show, I don't want to talk about pledge drives, playing a song here and there. I want to have my radio show. Yeah, but they also raise a bit more money than we do getting from. A bit more money than we've asked for in the last six years. So, come on. Yeah, so, combined, yeah. there is something to be said for pledges and getting the old alumni who are on the hockey teams today. And, oh, you know, alma mater. Yeah. The old gold and the blue. What the hell are our colors? I'm wearing them. Gold. Yeah. <laughs> gold and blue. Yeah. yeah. So. Something to think about. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe down the road. I might I always put something on the website saying, hey, if you want to donate. You yeah, know. Yeah. And it's tax deductible or a non-profit mm-hmm. organization, right? Great. Cool. Well, what are your plans for this week, Sam Wood? This week, uh, well, starting Sunday and tomorrow, mm-hmm. the B.O.B. concert. B.O.B. is a rapper. Yeah. Yep. For, for the people who are waiting for Carol yeah. Chang, yeah. B.O.B. Yeah. Yeah. is not, you know, bring your own uh, <laughs> babies. He's, he's yeah. a very good rapper. Um, so that'll be fun. And then I think the radio... We are present. Well, we're almost presenting a show. Um, oh, we're almost presenting a show. We're almost presenting. That's exciting. So we get. You know, to I have, almost uh, went to Brazil once. You know, almost, yeah. yeah, I did. Yeah. I only say almost because uh, I almost had a date with Cameron Diaz. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah. Well, anyway. Um, I only say almost because we had um, Sky Fox in at the Gothic Theater coming Friday. And they said that we could present the show, but then I went on their website two days ago and said 93.3 was presenting the show. Ooh. I wasn't very happy. So they can only have one station presenting yeah. at a time. Uh, so we'll, we'll get, get another one, one. but Sky Fox, Fox is coming. They're a local band from Denver. They'll be Oh, I thought you meant Sky, like Fox News. Kind of. oh, Sky mm. Fox is a band. Oh. Yep. <laughs> That's where I am in the loop on these things, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. yeah. So they're coming Tuesday, and then we have more. Can you present, stuff. present like Vic Damone and... and Lou Monty and there's <laughs> actually something I got in the mail the other day. You'd probably like it's a uh, ticket system. 
stuff. Right. Is it, what, is the person 97 or something? No, it's, uh, I don't know what it is. I'll have to check it out. Okay. When we go to commercial, bring it back to you. Sounds cool. Sounds cool. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to play a little bit of music because this is a music as well as a talk show. Let me thank again Sam Wood, the general manager of UNC Radio.